Hey guys, I competed against this over-unders guy twice in the absolute over the past year and in that middle of December, about three weeks ago, I competed against him again. So for the first match, I was really fired up. My goal is to go for arm drags and arm drags and arm drags. In Jiu-Jitsu, you know, size doesn't really 100% matter. I mean, it matters a lot for sure, but if you have good crisp technique, sometimes you can win against the guy who has a size advantage against you. During the match, he, I even got lifted up and landed on my back, which actually gave me a bit of an injury after the match. It was one of those matches where I came in so scrappy, I would rather win by points or just lose altogether instead of winning by decision. So near the last 20 seconds of the match, I go for this sloppy arm drag and try to force it, conceding an underhook, and I made a pretty big mistake. Uh, him catching the underhook allowed him to pass pretty easily with only 10 seconds left in the match, and for the first match, I lost. Moving on to the second match, I altered my strategy. I wasn't going to let him stack me as much as he had. And instead of going for the arm drag, I was actually looking to get into x guard. That, that was my goal. So I'm having this two-on-one grip on his arm, trying to pummel some kind of underhook on his opposite side knee so I can get underneath his body. He's pretty visual. He's pretty stubborn about stacking me up. But instead of getting stacked flat on my back this time, I'm kind of turtling down, which allows me to compose my frame. And using a stack against him, I'm able to jump underneath him. And instead of getting into x guard, I get stuck in this 50-50, which was just enough to win a decision for this match. I wasn't able to really win any points on the second match, but at least I didn't get injured. Like after the first match, I had, couldn't train for a solid three weeks at all. I was, I'd get out of bed and my back was hurting so bad. It wasn't a serious injury, I just couldn't train for about three weeks. I couldn't train hard for another couple weeks after. So there's a bit of a size disadvantage here. He's over 120 kilograms and I'm weighing in at about 88. This is the third time that I competed against him and I was going to be a lot more cautious not to, let, not to get injured. Before my match with him, I had to face someone else who is in the 76 kilogram division. I usually compete at the 88. N not a hugely eventful match. I was conserving a little bit of energy and just going with the rope pass consistently as it seemed to be working. I'm trying to switch off between the rope pass and the smash pass and he's doing a pretty good job turtling and being pretty defensive. But without a whole lot of action, stall out to a decision. On to my third match with the over-unders guy. We're one and one, be the tiebreaker for our match history. I pulled guard pretty quickly because I didn't feel like I was going to be able to take him down. But one thing I'm doing a little bit differently here is when he's trying to pummel that underhook, I don't let him get a very deep grip on it. I push my arm and my knee towards his neck pretty hard anytime he gets some type of lapel grip underneath my leg. For this match, I'm a little bit more composed. I'm looking for anything I can, whether that be X guard or whether that be an arm drag. Uh, doing a pretty good job not getting stacked at all this time. I was able to really save my back in this one. Knowing that we might go to decision, I try to shoot for this arm bar to try to win some points in the referee's mind, but I think it was a bad mistake. I ended up having to turtle instead, so with only maybe a minute left in the match, I know I'm down, I've got to do something. This is the determined face of a person who knows he's got to do something, and he's willing to do whatever it takes. And I shoot a pretty good arm drag here from Half Spider, and I think he kind of saw it coming, so he reacts by shooting back, but ironically, he's sitting back too hard ends up being what helps me shoot into a double instead and I come up for the first time I'm able to score two points on him. For the first time I'm able to win by points again. I think our match history kind of shows how my game has evolved and adapted to his style of game which is using his weight advantage in a way to stack your body. You know competing against him the first time I think he did a much better job stacking me up which was uh, put me at a huge disadvantage and in the second and third match I was able to do much better fighting that off. 